Okay, so I found this article on the InfoWars. Trans criminals who graped women are women. Nicola Surgeon, probably said that wrong, says trans criminals convicted for graping women are women, despite a car crash interview in which she appeared to flip-flop all over the place. The controversy began after 31-year-old Adam Graham, who was found guilty of graping two women during a frenzied sex attack, was sent to Scotland's only all-female prison. Oh, geez. The uh, saying, the fox in the hen house comes to mind, but instead they put the fox in the hen house. Only when on trial for the attacks did Graham announce that he was transitioning. Yep, into a woman, a process which seemingly culminated in him wearing a bad wig and cheap makeup. Yeah, because if he gets sent to a female prison, you know, it'd basically be paradise for him. After massive public backlash, Scottish First Minister Nicola, gonna get the name wrong, reiterated her belief that trans women are women, no matter how many actual women they have violently graped. Um, so I guess that's the whole female penis thing the left talks about. During an awkward interview, probably going to get the name wrong, flip flop back and forth on the question of whether violent male rapists are actually women on the basis of them claiming to be so in order to get more lenient treatment in prison. Yeah, lenient, lenient treatment is one way of saying it. More like it's a great way for them to get to the grapevine. Her assertion that men with penises should be accepted as women was backed up by Keith Brown, her justice secretary, who said, If somebody presents as a trans person, then we accept that at face value. Brown said the decision on where to to send male sex offenders who identified as women rested with the Scottish Prison Service and its risk assessment. Brown, which claimed, had a tremendous track record. Another biological male who called himself Tiffany, Scott, who is also set to be transferred to the same all-women prison after being convicted of a 13 year old girl. Another transgender inmate also started identifying as a baby okay, in order to get better treatment in prison, a demand that was taken seriously by prison bosses. Yeah, it does sound like something from the Babylon Bee. As we document in the video below, the situation in Scotland completely vindicates those who have been warning for years about sexual predators exploiting the acceptance of transgenderism to target their victims. Yeah. Um, at this point, you might as well put all the female prisoners with the male prisoners. And why? This Watson guy, um, he basically beat two ch child um, diddlers with a cane to... Uh, well, the grave. I did a video about uh, this incident a couple months ago, but in my opinion, uh, the female prisoners, the biological ones, they'd be safer in the all-male prison because probably guys like this guy, the Watson guy, will probably protect them from the, you know, the Herberts. Anyway, that's it for my little ramble. Take care.